This is a 2019 question paper. Just uh, write this question in your book. Uh, it helps you when I am solving it on the board. And read carefully each and every point so that you can be able to solve this question without any doubts. Okay. Hello students, if you quickly read this question, A, B and C are partners sharing profits and losses equally in a firm. During the year 2018-19, that means in our previous year, the firm incurs a net loss of 6 lakh rupees after deducting the following. See, regularly, usually in our previous videos, we have seen there was a net profit after deducting the following. But here we have a loss. So whatever it is, we have to calculate first book profit because he is given a loss after deducting so many items, he got a loss of 6 lakh rupees. First what we need to find out is we have to compute the book profit that is step number 1. So here there is no book uh, net profit, there is a net loss. I am writing it in a bracket because bracket symbol is nothing but minus amount. What are the items which have deducted is commission to A. Bonus to B and C, 80,000 each. Now, this point I have taken in partner's remuneration. Okay, commission to A is 40,000. Bonus to B and C, 80,000 each. 80,000 into 2 is 1,60,000. Salary to A, B and C, 1,60,000 each. So, 1,60,000 into 3 becomes 4,80,000. And the total partner's remuneration is 6,80,000 rupees. See, donation to PM National Relief Fund 80,000 rupees is an inadmissible item because we have seen inadmissible expenses. What are the inadmissible expenses? Donations, charities, income tax, right? Provision for bad debts. All these are all what? inadmissible items so therefore donation to P, uh, PM National Relief Fund is a inadmissible the same time income tax is also inadmissible sales tax is a business expenses don't take it office rent is also business expenses admissible expenses don't write depreciation on assets 4 lakhs see depreciation 4 lakhs has taken in the books but as per the IT rules, you would have taken 4,80,000 rupees. So now, depreciation is already directed from the profit and loss account is 4 lakhs. And as per the IT rules, you would have directed 4 lakh eighty. So what I did is, first depreciation on assets 4 lakh rupees, I have added as an inadmissible item. And in the less item, I have taken admissible items not allowed. See, as per the IT rules, you would have allowed a depreciation of 4,80,000 rupees. But we have allowed only 4 lakh. The difference will automatically get adjusted. So this is 4,80,000 rupees is to be taken. Interest on capital is calculated at 20%. See, student, a total interest paid or payable to A is 64,000, B is 56,000, C 72,000. If you take the totals of A, B, C, 1,92,000 is the total interest which is paid to A, B, C at the rate of 20%. But what is the rule says? Interest on capital is allowed as a deduction up to 12%. So, in excess of 12% interest on partner's capital is what happened? Inadmissible. It has to be taxed. Right? So, therefore, 192,000 divided by 20 into 8. So, 20 minus 12 is 8. We get 76,800. <coughs> After that, the profit and loss account also includes the following incomes. Long term capital gain, as we know that it is an inadmissible income. See, any long term or a short term capital gains are taxable under the head income from other sources, but not from the business income. So, therefore, LTCG of 90,000 and STCG of 70,000 rupees is 
inadmissible income it should be deducted from this profit so now from 6,76,800 they we should add plus 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 amount if you add this 3 and minus 6 lakh loss you will get 6,76,800 from that if you add minus items you will get 6,40,000 and your total book profit is 36,800 now we got book profit now what is to be done we need to calculate what is the allowable I mean uh, remuneration of a partner See, allowable remuneration of a partner, how to calculate? First up, with the actual remuneration is 6,80,000. From where we get it? We get it from here. See, my dear students, in the previous videos, we learned allowable re uh, remuneration. Book profit was always 3 lakhs and uh, above was there. But in this question, the book profit is showing only 36,800. Now, how to calculate? See, as per the statutory limit of 40B, what it says is, whatever the book profit is, on the book profit, on first 3 lakh rupees, we have to take 90%, which we compare with the maximum limit of 1 lakh 50. So, 90% of the book profit or maximum limit of 1 lakh 50,000, whichever was higher, we used to compare with the actual remuneration. Am I right? See, I will tell you. See, suppose uh, in place of 36,800, if the book profit would have been 3,50,000 rupees, now how we compare 90% of first 3 lakh rupees, how much it comes to 2,70,000 or 1,50,000 maximum limit, maximum limit, whichever is higher which is higher in this 2,70 is the higher. Then we used to take 60% on balance of book profit. Say on first 3 lakhs we have taken 90% and we compare it with the maximum limit. Now on the balance 50,000 rupees, 60% comes to 30,000. Now the total amount will be 3 lakh rupees as a statutory limit. If we compare with the actual remuneration, whichever is lower, we used to tax or we used to give it as a deduction. Am I right? So this is what the rule says actually. But since the profit is below 3 lakh rupees or which is not exceeding the maximum limit of 1 lakh 50, so 33, 120 or 1 lakh 50, which is higher, 1 lakh 50 is the higher. So from this 1 lakh 50 or actual remuneration, whichever is lower, is allowable as a partner's remuneration. Understood? Now, this is the second step. What is the third step is computation of gross total income of firm. Book profit is 36,800. We have taken from here. And allowable remuneration is 1,50,000. We have calculated in the step number 2. Now, this is loss from business of one is one lakh thirteen thousand two hundred is the last, and we take income from capital gains of one lakh sixty ninety as LTCG and seventy as a STCG. Now this is an income and this is a loss. We are setting off the losses of the business from the other head of income called as capital gains, and we got a gross total income of forty six thousand eight hundred. <coughs> Actually, in the question, he was not given to calculate the gross total income. He was asked just to calculate book profit and allowable uh, remuneration, but uh, still have calculated this. Okay, uh, hope uh, all of you understood. Uh, it's a very simple question. Okay.